Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Overkill Trading. In today's video, we are going to be going over our watch list for next week. Today is Saturday, December 7th. It's about 10 to 17 a.m. Uh, the time of recording this video, that is going to be Los Angeles time. And today, again, we're going to be going over the watch list. We got some very, very interesting looking setups this week. We got Doge, we got XRP, we got Solana, we got GameStop. We got FedEx, we got Disney, we got Bitcoin, we got XLM, Algorand, FUBU, Bonk, ADA, and more. We are going to be covering all those charts today, looking at our indicator, trying to identify some setups going into next week. And I've already looked at some of these names, and there are some really, really good setups that we are going to be covering today. If you guys are new to the channel, we have a very, very specific trading strategy with our indicator down here that I want to go over here really quick before we jump into the rest of the charts. What I want to do right now is I want to review four trades that we've taken over the last couple of weeks that have actually netted a very, very substantial profit. The first one is going to be QNT. Okay, so again, if you guys are new, I want to hit the, I want to hit the strategy really quick. The first thing that we are looking for when we are placing our trades is the monthly green dot, okay? So first things first, we are not day traders. We are swing traders on this channel. We are looking to hold our bags for anywhere from five to 30 days, okay? We are focused on a monthly and a daily chart, okay? We enter and exit positions using our trading indicator, okay? Green means buy, red means sell, and that is the green and red dots that you're seeing right here on my screen. So the first thing that we're looking for in all our trades is a green dot on the monthly chart. That is the first rule. We only buy assets that have a green dot on the monthly chart, okay? It either needs to be a green dot or a green candle. One of those things, because that tells us that the direction in the macro is moving up, okay? The best way I can explain this is looking at a chart of Bitcoin. Okay, you can see this dot right here on Bitcoin was called out on January 1st of 2023. We called this out on the channel. Bitcoin was around 18K. Okay, this dot right here was October of 2023. Bitcoin's price was 28K and we got a green dot recently last month in November. The price was sitting around 62 to 64,000. So the reason we want the monthly dot first is because that is what tells us that the direction is going to the upside, right, on the macro time frame. So the, the monthly chart is the biggest, the largest chart that you can look at here. And the bigger the time frame, the more accurate the dot, okay? The monthly dots come like every five, six months, right? They, they don't come very often. When you look at a five-minute chart, Okay, look how many dots you're getting just in one day. You're getting a dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there. Okay, so our goal on this channel, right, we don't want to sit in front of our 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 our, our uh, computer screens all day, right? We're swing traders. We just want to maybe look at the chart maybe once or twice a day and, right, place our trades and let them ride. So, again, the first thing in our strategy is that we are looking for the green dot. The, the the name will never be on the watch list. It'll never be on the green list, okay, if the dot is red, okay? We'll never have it on the chart or on our watch list if the last dot on the monthly chart is red because, again, you don't want to be buying Bitcoin during this time, right, when we're going down, 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 down. This went down for a year and a half. You shouldn't have been buying Bitcoin all throughout this time. Why? Because the last dot was red. You want to wait till the, till the dot flips green or the candle flips green. Sometimes the candle will flip green and we won't see the dot yet. A good example of that would be right here on QNT. Actually, I'm sorry, the dot did come on that candle. Uh, there'll probably be a couple examples uh, that I'm showing you, like uh, Snapchat right now is a good one. I currently have a position on Snapchat, but you can see we don't have a dot yet, but the candle has flipped to green after we pulled back after four months. Okay, so that first green candle, right, also counts. So it either has to have a green candle or a green dot on the monthly chart to make our watch list. Once you have the confirmation, once you have the confirmation from the monthly, we then look to the daily chart, okay? So when you think about the monthly chart, it takes one month for one of these candles to form, okay? We wanna make sure that the monthly is in our favor and we do that by identifying the green dot or a green candle on the monthly. Once you have that, you then zoom into the daily. 
And what we are looking for on the daily is now the green dots that are coming off a bounce from our moving average, okay? If you come over here to the Discord, there's something called the cheat sheet, okay? And what we like to reference on this is the mean, right? The mean price. So the mean is just the average, okay? We want to buy as close to the average as possible. And how we identify what the average price is, is we use a 9 EMA and a 30 EMA, okay? My personal favorite trade, my, my favorite trade, I'm going to go over a couple trades here on these four assets that we called out over the last two weeks. My favorite trade is the bounce off the 30-day moving average, okay? You can see again, what, what color was the dot in November on Bitcoin? It was green. We got that signal on November 1st. And if you guys are members of the Discord, we do call out all the monthly and all the daily alerts over here underneath the alert section right here. So that dot was called out in the Discord at $64,000 on Bitcoin. Okay, so what happened? Right, We got the dot, and then we got a pullback right here on the 5th of November. That was right there on the 5th into our mean, into our average. Okay, if you take a look back at the cheat sheet, again, pay attention to the mean. This is one of the most important things you guys can take out of trading. You want to get stuff at a fair price. How we tell if it's at a fair price is that we measure it by how close it is to the mean, the average. So again, the blue line is the average price over the last 30 days, okay? And the orange line is the average price over the last nine days. In an extremely bullish market, okay, we will bounce off the nine. You can see XRP right now, it is bouncing off the nine EMA, the orange line. You can see how it comes down, taps the mean, rips comes down, t gets really close to the mean, right? It didn't touch it exactly, but it got really close. And you can see XRP is reversed, and we're going to take a look at this chart uh, later on. But again, with our trading rules, we need that confirmation on the monthly chart, and we want to make sure that the that the green dots that we're getting, like this one right here on XRP, that one came at 144 145 It went up to $3. That was a 100% trade. In an extremely bullish market, it will be bouncing off of the 9 EMA, okay? Otherwise, right, my personal favorite setup is the bounce off of the 30-day. Let me show you a couple examples of what I'm talking about. So here's QNT. This is a quant. This is a cryptocurrency. We called this green dot out here. Again, November 1st, the price was sitting around $70 to $75 at the time, okay? The price is currently sitting at a, uh, $170 right now. So you're talking you're up 120% if you just entered off the green dot. We did call this setup up, out up right here, I believe it was, on the 29th. Okay, I actually have the receipt for that. If you come here, you can see I call out all these setups over here in our Discord for our members. Okay, I called out Quant, I believe it was right here. Okay, you can see I said... Uh, QNT, if this thing can hold 90, it'll blast off here. You were looking at about a 4% risk here uh, at 94 cents. Chart is looking very strong. So what you can see here, again, I called this out. What day was that? That was, uh, that was the 29th of November. Okay, that was right here, that first green candle. You can see we had the green dot confirmation on the monthly, right? We knew that the monthly chart, the move was in our favor. We knew that. Okay, so what we waited for was a pullback, and you got the pullback into, into what? Into the mean. It pulled back into that nine-day moving average and gave us a doji candle. So where you're looking to enter on the daily chart after you get the confirmation from the monthly, right? Again, we are never even looking at an asset if it is not green on the monthly chart, right? We have a red list, okay? All these names, these are good names. We got Apple in here. We got Baba. We got Match. We got AMD, right? We got Uber. These are all great stocks. But the problem with them is, right, look at AMD. AMD is red on the monthly. So we do not want to pay attention to it. That's why it's in the red list, okay? It's going to stay in the red list until the dot flips, the dot or the candle flips back to green. And then we can move it to our green list and we can look for these setups. But the most important thing to understand when you're trading outside of making sure the monthly's in your favor, if you guys can just make sure the monthly chart is green and you guys are investing in these names, you'll make more money than a lot of other people in the markets because a lot of people trade stuff 
because they think they're getting a good price because the, the price keeps dipping, dipping, dipping. They think, oh, it looks good here at 90. Oh, it looks good here at 70. Look, it went all the way down to 50. They lost half their account. You want to make sure that the monthly chart is in your favor, guys. Okay, that is rule. That is the first thing you need to understand. The second thing is, again, we talked about the cheat sheet. Okay, I know I talk about this in every video, but I just want to get it through your guys' heads before we get into the charts because it is the most important thing. Okay, on the daily chart, we want to buy as close to the mean as possible. We don't want to buy below the mean. We don't want to buy below that 30-day moving average, right? I'm not looking for green dots on the daily if it's below the moving average. Nine times out of 10, if the monthly chart is green, has a dot or a candle that's green, it is above that that 30-day uh, moving average. So again, we want to buy that pullback. QNT, again, we called it out on the 29th. We had this pullback into our mean, into the nine-day moving average, okay? It has to pull back into one of these moving averages. And then we had a green candle. So on the daily, you either want to enter on the first green candle after at least a three-day pullback. Okay, I look for at least a three-day pullback into the into the mean. Boom, this was your entry candle. This was the candle I called out. Again, a lot of you guys have been asking how to set a stop loss. My stop loss on this trade was $90. Why was it 90 Because that was the bottom of this last candle right here before we got the green candle. Right When the candle shifts colors, it should continue to be green, meaning it shouldn't break the last red candle. Okay, It shouldn't break below that 9 EMA if we are bouncing on that. If it does break, you cut your losses, but in this case, it didn't. And this trade right here netted us. Okay, That was a 79% move, about an 80% move off of this signal right here on QMT. So that one's no longer in the watch list because, again, we already had our run up. My target to sell... Okay, my favorite place to sell is when the stochastic RSI, the light blue line on our indicator, comes up here and touches the white dotted line. Okay, and if you guys are new, you're probably asking, how do I get this indicator? How do I get this? How do I get this on my charts? Guys, we have a link right over here on the trading indicator. All you got to do is come click this link. There's a couple buttons that you click, and it loads directly into your trading view account. You'll see everything that I see exactly how I see it on my screen. You'll see the red dots, the green dots, the EMAs, everything that you need will be loaded into your trading view account. If you guys got questions about that, my email is right here. Okay, overkill at overkillinvesting.club. We have hundreds and hundreds of people that have used this and have never gotten, I've never gotten one complaint about it. Okay, so that link is right over there inside the Discord. The link is in the description and pinned it in the comment section below. Let's take a look at another one. Here's Amazon. Okay. Amazon. Okay. What did we notice on Amazon? Okay. The monthly chart. When did we get the green dot? We got it right there in November. Wonderful. Okay. Now we're looking at it. It's on our watch list. We're looking for that pullback into the mean. What did we get here? We had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven day pullback into what? into the mean, into the 30-day average. You can see it pulled back into it there, it pulled back into it here, pulled back into it right there, pulled back into it right there. This was an A1 setup though. If you get a six-day pullback into the mean, dude, you bet the farm. I mean, you're betting the farm. Where was our entry candle? Our entry candle was right here on the first green candle after this six-day pullback. Again, I like to look for at least a three-day pullback on the daily. That is not, you know, that is not written in stone that it needs to have that but as long as you're pulling back into the mean into the moving average okay and the reason we use the 30 day moving average and the nine day moving average is because they are used among hundreds of thousands maybe millions of other traders right the big hedge funds okay i'm talking about the smart money the institutional investors okay they're using the same exact emas the same exact averages they're looking at the same exact one everybody knows that right here, this blue line, is the 30-day moving average, right? And the 30-day moving average is just the average price over the last 30 days. So you can see right now, Amazon's average price is 204. Okay, now Amazon is sitting 20 or only 10% off of that moving average. So Amazon's obviously a high market cap, uh, a high market cap coin. So you don't necessarily want to buy Amazon up 10% because once you get up in this area, Look how far extended off the mean we are, right? The further you get away from the mean, the further you get up on the cycle, okay? And you don't want to be buying things up in the cycle. You want to buy things as close to the averages as possible. And again, on this channel, we reference the 9-day the and the 30-day, okay? Again, my favorite setup is off the 30. But in a really bullish, bullish market, like what you saw on like 
XLM and uh, Algorand and uh, Ada Cardano, you can see the nine is acting as the average. So if you're trading these assets, you want to buy every time that comes down into the nine. Okay, and you just want to set your stop loss right below the nine. And we're going to get into all these charts in just a second, but you can see Amazon. Once again, we got that monthly confirmation. Boom, green dot came there in November. Wonderful. We're watching for a pullback. What did we get? We got the pullback. Another good thing to pay attention to is the stochastic RSI. I talked about how I like to sell when it hits the white dotted line up here. Okay, that's my favorite place to sell. It might not always get you out at the exact top, but it's going to get really, really close, okay? And again, we want to sell into the green. We don't want to wait for the very, very top. We don't want to sit here and think, oh, we're going to time the top. We're going to time. We're going to get out the exact top. Nobody ever knows when the exact top is, okay? Our goal is to sell near it, and I think what gets you the best, the best opportunity to do that is going to be when the stochastic comes up and touches that white dotted line. That is my favorite place to take profits. I've been getting a lot of questions about that in the Discord. That is my, my favorite place to do it. Again, it's not always going to get you out at the top. I mean, look at XRP here, right? XRP, you guys know I sold around 77, 80. I sold right in this area, okay? I mean, I, I completely missed the boat. But you know what? As a trader, I'm not worried about that because this right here was a home run grand slam trade. Me as a trader, I am trying to hit singles and doubles. If you guys know what baseball is, singles and doubles just get you on base, Okay, if you're swinging for the fences and thinking this is going to happen every time, like on XRP, you're going to lose. You're going to go broke, okay, because you're just going to think you're going to get up to the plate and hit a home run like this every time. This trade right here, this was probably a 1 in 100,000 trade. I mean, when you go 400% in the matter of a month, it just doesn't happen all the time. I mean, I, I, I've been trading for eight years, and I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Something like this has never happened since GameStop back in COVID. That's the last time I've seen a move like this. So, uh, again, it's not always going to get you out on the top, especially in situations like XRP right here. But, again, my goal is to be consistent, 20 30%. If, if it was that easy to make 400% on your money every month, I mean, we would be billionaires, right? So it just doesn't always happen. My goal, again, is to be consistent. This strategy is about consistency. It's about getting 10 20 30 and sometimes even 100% moves and we're compounding our money, right? We're continuing to do it. We're consistent with it. We're not swinging for the fence every time because nine times out of 10, we're going to strike out if you're trying to right, hit home runs and make 400% every time. That's never, ever, ever, ever the case. Okay, There might not ever be a move like that on XRP again. So if you're long XRP, if you're holding it forever, if you're if you're a maxi, all the power to you. Okay, that This probably isn't the channel for you because, again, we are looking for setups. We're looking to buy, right? When the price is fair, right now, XRP to me is somewhere up in this territory, right? It might go to $5, it might go to $10, but we called XRP, guys, at 50 cents, okay? We called XRP down here, okay? We called XRP right here on the 5th. That was at 50 cents. We called XLM down here at, at uh, 9 cents, okay? We called it right there at 9 cents off the green dot, okay? So, I mean... Yes, it, it went 800%. Did we did we miss the move? I didn't buy XLM. I bought XRP. But uh, again, it's not always going to get you out at the exact top. There's no perfect way to take profits. But my advice is just to be consistent with your profit taking. And I think the best way to take profits is to take profits when the stochastic RSI touches the white dotted line on the daily chart. If you, if you have FOMO, if you're worried about FOMO and, oh, it might go up to 230, though. It might go up another $3. Guys, you're going to get smoked. Okay, you're going to get smoked. Don't worry about that. You already made the meat of the trade, right? Because you were in right here. You're already up over 10% on the trade. On Amazon, that's really, really good. So this was an excellent trade that played out. Again, the stochastic is getting up there toward the white dotted line. So I think about taking some uh, off the table here and then waiting until it pulls back either into the 9 EMA or back into the 30 EMA. Okay, because again, it always retraces back. It always retracts back to that moving average. And the further you get, you can see the separation right now on Amazon. Okay, it's sitting five percent off of the average, off of the average, uh, the nine day, right? That's like our weekly moving average, and it's sitting ten percent off of the thirty day. So 
That's like going to the store and buying your groceries at a 5% premium or a 10% premium if you guys are buying Amazon up here, right? Our goal is not to buy up in this area. We don't want to buy extended off of the meat. We don't want to buy this far off of our average. So Amazon, that was another great trade. Congratulations to everyone who capitalized on that. Uh, Roblox, this was the one I'm really actually kind of uh, salty about. Uh, again, same kind of setup here. We have we identified that we're in an uptrend on the monthly chart, right? Candles are green, dot is green. Wonderful. What are we doing? We're coming in here to the daily, and we're looking for our pullback. Where did this one pull back into? Look at this money setup, dude. Okay, this like I said in the last video, guys. I just want to put this. I want to print this picture out and put it up on my wall and just look at it because this was just beautiful. Okay, and this was called out as well on the 29th uh, on Friday. This was last Friday called the green dot out, everything just lined up perfect, guys. This was like the perfect setup, okay? Again, the monthly was green. We had this big move after earnings. They had a great earnings report. They made a bunch of money, and then they pulled back into what? They pulled back into the mean. So beautiful, dude. This setup is so, so beautiful, okay? Just pulled back. We got the green dot on the first green candle. The stochastic RSI was down here, and boom. Whoever got in on this, I, I kicked myself for not taking this trade, but that was a 20%, a 20% racker right there. And uh, again, now that it's up here at the stochastic RSI at the top of the, uh, at the white line, this is where I want to look to take either 50% off the table and let the rest ride or sell it and go find another setup like this, guys. Because I can point out, I mean, you're probably going to see five or six instances where we are setting up like this going into next week. Okay, but this was a beautiful trade. I know some of you got in on this, and this was just, oh, man. Oh, beautiful play on, on Roblox there. So that was a great trade as well. Uh, and then SUI was the other one. Uh, this is the altcoin we called out a couple weeks ago. Again, what do we got? We got the monthly going up. And if you guys can't see the monthly indicator, that's because it's a newer coin and there's not enough data. So some of the coins, right, some of the charts don't have the indicator yet. For example, like SUI right now, you can't see the dots because it just came out in 2023. So the indicator doesn't have enough data to feed it to, to show us what color the dot is. But as long as the last candle is green, we're good. We identified, boom, we got green candles all over the place on SUI. Beautiful. What did we see here? Okay, pull back into what? Into the mean. Okay, we pumped off it. We pulled back into the mean again. What happened? Boom, ripped it. This one went for a little bit more. It was a higher risk play. Because it, it, it was an altcoin, uh, but that was about 34%. And again, look at that. We're touching the white dotted line right there. So again, you made 34% on your trade. 34% for, for one, two, three, four, five days. I mean, guys, people are okay with getting 5% a year, giving all their money to a money manager and making 5% a year. You made 34% in five days. I mean, if you're, if you're, Hoping for more, it's not really a strategy, right? If the indicator's topped out, it's topped out. I mean, I'm not saying it can't it can't keep going. It can, but it can also go the other way. So uh, how I'd play SUI here is put a stop loss at four dollars. But uh, I'd, I'd probably be taking some off the table on this one here with the uh, daily touch on that. But those are four examples we've called out uh, over the last. Uh, I think it, it's probably been two weeks on all four of those, but those four just played out very, very well. There was a bunch of other ones that played out really well as well, uh, but I, I just, uh, there's too many to keep track of, but I thought those four, those four came to mind. So hopefully you guys get a better understanding of this strategy now before we go over these, uh, before we go over the watch list today. Again, all our trading rules are posted right over here. The Discord is free to join. We do have the membership for $4 a month. Uh, if you guys pay for the year, it's $4 a month to join. I think it's like $48 for the entire year, but you'll get the signals, our watch lists. You'll see all my trade setups that I post over here. Again, nothing is 100%, but I do believe this strategy is anywhere from 80 to 85% accurate when followed correctly. So um, again, the rules are right here. I also have a free trading course over here in the Discord. For those of you that are new, I highly recommend coming in here and watching the four or five videos that are in here to get a better understanding. And again, we have the... Um, uh, trading indicator link right there. First things first, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube sharing information. Uh, this is not financial advice. This is just what I've learned over the last uh, eight years that I like to teach and help you guys uh, get over that learning curve, learn from all the mistakes I made uh, in the past uh, eight years and make some money. I've been trading for eight years now and I've only been profitable the last two years. Okay, after I found a strategy and I, I, I developed the discipline to follow it. So, um, 
Yeah, and one other thing, guys, I will never add you or DM you. I'll never send you a DM or add you as a friend on Discord. Beware of scammers. There's a lot of people right now uh, out there trying to interpret, like trying to be me. They're creating fake accounts. They look like me, but it's not me. Okay, I will never add you as a friend on Discord or send you a DM. Please, please, please beware of scammers. Please tell the people in the Discord if you guys see it that I will never ask for money or cryptocurrency. My only two products are the trading indicator and the membership, and you can find details about that uh, over here inside of the Discord there. And these are my only social media accounts. So you guys can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. Anyone messaging you outside of these accounts, I actually do have two TikTok accounts, but uh, this is the main one, at Overkill Trading. Follow me on these uh, social media platforms, and anybody messaging you outside of these platforms is a scammer, okay? So I just wanted to share that. been getting a lot of people saying they've been getting scammed recently. I want to welcome everybody new to the Discord right here, right now. Guys, we've been growing like crazy. we got a ton of Spartans joining the Army. I think we're sitting about six or 700 strong now. Uh, welcome to all the new members. Uh, we do have a giveaway currently going on. Uh, for 100 XRP, that is going to be drawn uh, tomorrow, Sunday, at uh, on December 8th. So uh, if you guys want to enter for that, go ahead and click that link. You do have to be a member to join. And if we can get this video right here to 150 likes, I will give away another 100 XRP to somebody uh, inside the Discord. So smash the like, guys. Let's get into the watch list. Let's dive in. Uh, if I see something, I'm going to put my favorites up in this section. So if I'm going over the chart, I'm just going to move my favorites up to here. And again, I, I share my watch list as well uh, over here inside the Discord under the watch list tab. You can see last week we shared them right here. So you guys can get access to those as well. So let's dive right into this thing. Uh, I'll go over my current holdings, my, my current uh, stocks that I'm holding. I'm holding the stock of Rivian. Uh, I identified a green dot on the monthly chart on this. This month here today, or this is uh, December, okay? And I entered this right here at about 11.80. I entered off the bounce off of that 9 EMA there, and we got some continuation. I think I'm about, up about 10, 11% on the trade right now. I know some of you also took this trade with me too, but I'm expecting some continuation into next week. My sell target's gonna be around $15 on this, anywhere from $14 to $15. I'll make sure I tell you guys uh, when that happens. But again, I just played the pullback into the 9 on this. I saw this on Tuesday of last week, and I entered on this candle right here on the 4th. And again, this thing looks like it wants to continue. Everything is pointing higher. As long as we're above that 9, the trend is really, really strong. And again, my target's going to be somewhere around 15 next week. The next one's going to be Snapchat. Snapchat was a beautiful trade as well. We saw the green candle back in November. So we've been hunting this thing for about a month. And we did end up getting this pullback here into... Uh, just below our 30 EMA. So sometimes it won't hit it exactly. Sometimes it'll be a little bit below the line, but you could see the wave was way down here. We got this green dot right here at around $10.50. Uh, I don't think I entered right there. I think I entered somewhere around 11.50, right? When we were consolidating right on the nine. But if you got in on this green dot right here, you made a substantial, uh, 20, about a 20... I want to say 23% if you entered off the dot, and that dot was called out, and I was watching this when I seen this pullback here. I just didn't take the trade because my stock account was not funded at the time, but uh, this one sold off really hard on Thursday. I saw some of you guys, your stop losses got hit, and you guys got flushed out, but this was a liquidation candle. This was a pump fake, uh, in my opinion. Okay, I always like to see where the candle closes, and if it closes back up above the nine, which it did on, uh, on Thursday, and you saw the continuation on Friday, Okay, so I'm also targeting around $15 to $16 uh, on Snapchat as well. My current stop loss on that is going to be right there below the 9 at about $12 on Snap. And then Airbnb, uh, this one's just consolidating on right on our 30-day moving average right now. So the longer it consolidates, normally the bigger the move. Uh, I, I'm kind of pissed at this trade just because it's been going sideways like that. That's really annoying. But again, you got to stay patient. Stop loss on that's $134.95. Again, we got the green monthly on this one coming up this month. This is Airbnb. You guys are probably familiar. And then again, we got the con we got the consolidation right on our mean, right on the 30-day average. We're just going sideways right now. So when you see sideways action, yes, it's annoying because your 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 trade's not going anywhere. But normally that's when smart money is loading up. When th people are quiet about it, right? There's nobody really talking about it. And then boom, it takes off, and then it just does the ripski. So I'm expecting a breakout on this one. I got a stop loss on that one at about. 
134.95. Uh, here's CRO. Again, this one, another one that's just kind of consolidating right now. I feel like every cryptocurrency is currently going up, but the one that I'm currently holding, <laughs> we got the we got the green dot on uh, in November there. So again, we've been watching it. I bought the pullback into the nine. I believe I'm in around 18 cents right here. I bought again around 20 or 21 cents. I can't remember, but nice consolidation here. It's still holding this nine day moving average. So it's just kind of grinding, grinding, grinding. I think one of these days it's going to have one of these moves here and it's going to freaking explode. Uh, my current stop loss on this trade is going to be around 19. I believe I have it at 19.4. 19.4 is my stop loss on CRO and I'm still holding that one. Still holding that one. I know the dot is red, but we are just consolidating right on that moving average. Again, consolidation is a good thing when we're going sideways. It's not going up. It's not going down. Okay, we're not sitting at an extremely large amount off of the mean. We're just consolidating on that thing. So that one's going to take a little bit of patience, but I do think a move is coming on CRO. That is a very, very uh, credible project. And I took a position on BA on Friday, guys. I didn't call it out in the Discord because I thought it was a very risky trade. You could see it does have a red dot when I called that, but it did dip right into that 9 EMA. This is, again, I didn't call it out because I think it's risky. Uh, the candle was green. The candle was green uh, when I took it, but it had a little 2% sell-off on uh, Friday. I think I'm down like 1% on it. But I have a really tight stop on this one. It's at like 152 I think. So it's like a 2% risk from where I entered. Uh, I'll never risk more than 3% on any trade, guys. So when I, what I mean by that is I will calculate this out. Okay. And I entered, I think around, I can't even remember. I think I entered probably around 155, 155, 50 maybe. So I'm down like 1%, but I put my stop loss right at 152 because I'm playing the bounce off of the nine. Okay. You can see back here when it broke out, it did the same exact thing. Okay. Boom. Bounced on the nine and then it just ripped. So Boeing is just a stock that's that's been absolutely beaten to a pulp. Okay, it's gone down for one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Had a green month there. Six, seven, eight, nine. If you count this as a red candle or a, a great a red candle, because that was kind of a fake out candle. I mean that that's like a year of going down. Right. So eventually, right, you're gonna get all the weak hands out. People are just tired of it going down, 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 and eventually there's going to be a a turn. So this one's definitely in despair here. And the candle was green, just so everybody knows uh, when I entered. But look where the look where the wave is. Okay, this dot looks like it wants to flip. Okay, I'm gonna guess that one's gonna come in January or February, depending on how we move. But uh, I have a really tight stop loss on BA. So uh, a very risky trade. Again, I don't like entering on these red dots, but this is this is one of those ones that uh, I believe could have been a fake out. So I got a really tight stop on that one at 152. Uh, and if it breaks down, I'll probably look to re-enter again if we bounce off that 30-day moving average. So those are my current holdings. Obviously, a lot of those have already taken off, but I just wanted to go over my portfolio because a lot of you guys are asking about my stop losses and stuff, and I think I made it pretty clear on those. Uh, my stop loss on uh, Rivian is going to be right there at about 11, 11.85 on, on Rivian, just below just below that 9 EMA, uh, that, that uh, orange line that we're using as support. So... Those are the names I'm currently in in the stop losses. So let's go ahead and start here with Pepe. Uh, Pepe is a, people are calling this a mean coin. I think it's an altcoin because it has a $10 billion market cap. If something has a $10 billion market cap, to me, that gives it legitimacy. Uh, we called this one out as well earlier in the week. Uh, today, it's obviously up 12%, 13% at the moment, but it's still sitting right on uh, right on its weekly moving average. So if you look at the monthly, obviously it's green or, or green on the monthly, just like pretty much every crypto is right now. We called this one out, I believe a couple of days ago at around two cents. No, we called the green dot out. I dropped the video on TikTok on Thursday. We got a green dot on this one and Doge, uh, on the same day. And I called this one out with a stop loss at two. I think it was at like two, two. So this one's already up 10 or 12% from where I called it out on Thursday. Again, you guys can get those signals over here. You guys can get those trades when I call them out. I know I dropped these videos on Saturday, so some of them might be a little late. But uh, this one looks like it wants to continue. Again, I'd be looking to sell Pepe if you guys took the trade. When the stochastic RSI, the light blue line gets back up here and touches the white dotted line. And we're sitting at like 50. So the white dotted line on the indicator is sitting at 100. Okay, that one's sitting right there at 100. So when that hits 100, that's when I like to take profits. Can it keep going? Yes, it can. Okay. But when we start to get way, way extended, like you saw here, okay, this one was sitting extremely, extremely far off the mean. Okay. 
You can see that was a 32% premium off the nine, okay, off the orange line. And then it was sitting 55, 60, almost 60% off of the 30 day moving average when the price was way up here. When you get the 50 to 60% off of the blue line, okay, and again, if you guys want to measure that, you can just come over here and use the uh, long position tool. Okay, you just click that. And then if you're looking at the price, so I put it at the top here, and then I'll drag this down, and I can measure. So that tells me, hey, you're sitting 55% off of the 30-day moving average. If we are using, if we are using the 30-day moving average as our mean, right, our average, okay, 50 to 60% is up in this territory. Okay, that's telling you, okay, we, we've ran really hot. It's time to take some profits up in this territory. Okay, when we're 50 to 60% off that blue line, and again, I showed you guys how to measure that. Right now we're sitting, we're sitting about 23% off of it, okay? But when I called the dot out, we were sitting, the dot was right here. We were only sitting about 15% off of it. When you're 50 to 60% territory off the blue line, guys, that is how we know we are in this territory, in grade territory. Because again, the name ran, if you guys got in on the dot back here on the 6th, I mean, this was like a, how, how, how much did we make on that? That was a 212% gain. So the smart money, right, they want to take their profits. The smart money, okay? These guys are the billionaires, the trillionaires, the people who technically control the markets. They have, If they have $10 billion or a billion dollars in Pepe, they made $10 billion, okay? If they, if they invested a billion, they made, well, I'm sorry, they made $3 billion on a 200%, okay? That's tripling your money if you make 200%. So again, the smart money too, guys, cannot sell. They can't sell the bags that they loaded up right down here unless retail is buying. So the majority of the retail, the people who get involved in, in crypto during the bull cycles, all the new people are, are normally the ones that are buying up here, right? They're the, they're the people that the smart money's selling to. Because again, those people are buying because everybody's talking about it and everybody's telling them to buy it. My general rule of thumb is that if they're, if they're already talking about it, guys, if they're already screaming about it and they're telling you to buy, you're too late, okay? We want to get in with the smart money when nobody's talking about it. Nobody was talking about Pepe over here, okay, on November 6th at less than, I, I can't even say that number, but you guys hopefully understand what I'm saying, right? These guys can't sell unless people are buying, unless the sheep are buying, right? You're buying at a 60% premium. If you're buying at a 60% premium all the time, you're never going to make money in these markets. That's like going to the grocery store and paying and paying 60% more for your groceries on a Saturday because it's Saturday, right? You don't want to do that. And you don't want to do that with the assets that you're investing in to make money. We want to buy at a fair price. The only way we know the price is fair is that we are close to or touching that mean, that average. And again, my favorite one is going to be the 30. That's the blue line. That's the one I like to reference the most. But again, every market is different. Something like XRP is going to be using that, that weekly moving average. You can see it tapped it right there perfectly, came back down into it here. And XRP looks like it's trying to reverse here as well. We're going to get to that chart here in just a second. But Pepe, up 12%. I would not be looking to buy this one today. But uh, again, that one was called out. If you wanted to play Pepe, I'd, I'd look to the hourly chart. Okay. And I look for a pullback, same thing into uh, that, that uh, blue line on the hourly chart. So... The only charts that I use are the monthly, the daily, and sometimes I will even look at an hourly, okay? If the, if, if the name is showing a green dot and it's up more than 5%, like for example, Pepe, the green dot came a couple days ago on Thursday, so you guys are two days late on this one, um, but I will zoom into the hourly if it's up a lot on the day and I want to enter, I'll just wait for the hourly to pull back, right? You want the wave to pull back down here. You get a green dot next to the moving average on the hourly chart because again, there's 24, there's 24 of these candles in one daily chart, right? There's 24 hours in a day. So in one candle, there is 24 hourly candles. So you want to buy it on the bottom half, right? You want to buy it on the low of the daily candle. You want to buy it way up here, right? Because the hourly is way extended. I only look at the hourly if the name is up over 5% on the day and I want to enter, okay? So again, the monthly chart, it takes one month for these candles to form, okay? That is that, that means it takes 30 daily candles, 30 daily candles to form one monthly candle. So throughout the month, right, this candle is going to be moving up and down and up and down. We want to buy it on the lower half, okay? We That's why we use that mean. We want to buy that pullback into the mean, into that average, that 30-day or the nine-day EMA. It just depends on what kind of market we're in. If we're in an extremely bullish market, we can use the nine.
But my favorite setup, like you guys saw in those four trades that I that I posted, is that pullback right into the 30 because that one is used as a reference point for a lot of other traders. Let's look at CLSK. This is Clean Spark. They are a crypto miner. You can see they have the green dot on the monthly uh, showing here. This is a crypto mining stock. Again, we pulled back, what, into the 30? We actually pulled back below the 30 there. That was a great day to enter right there. This one got the green dot a couple days ago. These ones are very volatile. These, these crypto miners, very, very volatile. So uh, I would just buy as close to the averages as possible. Uh, right now, the setup on this one's right there at uh, $14 for a stop loss. Again, I'd look to sell when the stochastic comes back up there and hits that 30-day. Uh, but this one's super choppy right now. Yeah, I think it will have one of these moves if Bitcoin can break out here. So that one's going to really depend on, on Bitcoin. Uh, UPST, I was checking this one out Friday. I didn't pull the trigger because it was up, I think, around 5% on the day. But you can see we got the signal. This is a, uh, they they do like loans. They're like an online loan company. But uh, you can see what happened, right? Well, first off, we got the monthly, right, pointing straight up. We're in a very strong trend on the monthly time frame. And then we got the pullback here. We pulled back into the into the 30 here, around 66. Okay. Stochastic got to about $6. And what did we do for a couple days? We consolidated. Okay, you could have entered on this candle right here. But we got the green dot on Friday. So I'm watching this one uh, this week. UPST, I would love to uh, look for an entry on this. Monday, we very well could just explode. But what I look for is a pullback on the... Uh, hourly chart. I'd want to buy this one closer to 74, right? Right down, right in this area. Bang. Right off that blue line, just like we use. See how it bounces on it? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. If that could pull back to 74 on Monday, I'd definitely look to take an entry. Um, that would be about a 3% drop. But if you want to play the level right now, it'd just be the level below that line right there. $72 would be your stop loss on this one. Uh, and that would be about a that's about a 6% risk. So like I said before, I only like to risk 3%, guys. 3% is my max risk. If I were to play this, I would have to take half a position. So 6% risk on that one. It's in my favor just because I want to watch an hourly chart. I want to see if it pulls back on Monday. And uh, that's why it's going to be on the favorites there. So that's going to be the first one there. Doge, another name. We called Doge and Pepe out the same day. Both those got the green dot on Thursday. You can see what Doge is doing. Doge is just doing what, guys? It's just consolidating right on that 9 EMA right now. Okay, just on our orange line. It's just sitting, 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 sitting. Okay, and you see a little breakout today. We're up about 5% today. Okay, and I'm going to put the stop loss on this one at 41. Okay, again, we called this out two days ago off this candle. So it's sitting right around the same price the dot came on. But uh, 41, 41 five is going to be your stop loss. I'm going to put Doge up there on the favorites this week. Uh, just sending out all them good vibes to to all the Doge coiners. Okay, 42 will be the stop loss on this. Okay, but that one looks like it wants to take off again. I don't want to look to sell till the stochastic RSI, the light blue line, comes back up here and touches the white dotted line. Here's another great example of where it topped out. Okay, this was the top somewhere in this area, 36, 38. Okay, and it's just been consolidating ever since. So normally when it tops out, it'll either go sideways like this or it will sell off. But that one's not sitting at that big of a premium. You can see it's only a it's only a few percent. Okay, it's only about sixteen percent off of its thirty day moving average, and it's bouncing right on that nine right now. So the stop loss on that's going to be forty two on Doge. Uh, Lyft, Lyft is the competitor to uh, Uber. Again, uptrend on the week or on the monthly. So we're looking for snipes, right? We're looking to snipe this thing. It's sold off hard Thursday, Friday. Stochastics down here at the floor. It's sitting right around right around that weekly moving average. What I'm going to look for on this is the first green candle next week. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move that one up to the favorites as well, but I like how this one's right into our 30-day moving average. I'm going to say the current stop loss on this one's going to be around 15. I think it does have a gap to fill down here uh, at around 14. So that's definitely possible if it sells off to 14. But what I'd be doing is waiting on the first green candle, okay, first green candle or the green dot on lift next week, but I think that one is going to set up nicely uh, watch and see if it holds 15. If that breaks, it'll come down to 14. But I don't think that one's going lower than 14 with where the stochastic is right now. Again, the monthly chart looks really good. So that one, that one's definitely on the favorites. Uh, here's XRP sitting at 250 now. So again, it's just continuing to use that nine EMA as support. 
Okay, and I'm not going to look at the monthly anymore for you guys. You guys just need, if you guys are buying assets, I just really want to make sure you guys know that that's the first thing you need to see, right? That is like our first rule over there in the trading rules. Okay, you want to make sure the monthly is green. It is never on my watch list if the monthly candle or the monthly dot is not green. I will never call out a name that looks like this, okay, that is red, 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 red. Okay, I want it to be green. Okay, we are looking for green on the monthly. So I'm just going to reference the daily here from now on. That is just a very, very important rule to understand is, yes, we need the green dot on the monthly and we need or a green can. Okay, but now you can see XRP has been using the orange line as support. You can see it tapped it right there at 126 and ripped, came back down into it uh, two days ago at around 214. Now it's sitting at 250. This thing is so volatile, man. Uh, 230. 230 is going to be your stop loss. 230. That's going to be the bottom of today's candle, but this definitely looks like it wants to reverse here. So you guys just need to set that stop loss. Okay, I'd put it at 230 if it was me. If you want to be less conservative, put it right there at 215. But that's, I mean, that's a pretty hefty drop there. Uh, right, that's that's 13% risk uh, if you're putting it there. So I'd, I'd recommend putting it at the bottom of the green candle today. I think we're going to see a green dot on XRP tomorrow or maybe even today, How uh, depending on how the price action is. But 250 looks like uh, looks like the price now and again. Around 230 would be my stop loss uh, today. So that's about a 5% risk there on XRP if you guys want to play it. I actually like the setup, and I'm going to put that one into uh, the list there. So remember, 234 is going to be your stop loss on that one. Here's, uh, oh, I, I missed uh, MSTR. MSTR, uh, this is Michael Saylor's company. Again, green on the monthly. Okay, green on the monthly, and we're just sitting here, once again, consolidating on our 30-day moving average at the moment. We got a green dot. The stochastic's down at a good level. Okay, I'd watch for this one to hold. This one needs to hold, uh, I'm going to say 340. 340, but it's just consolidating right now. It's just going sideways, waiting to break. So if Bitcoin rips, okay, this thing's going to go bananas. So uh, 340 is going to be my stop loss on this. I'd love to see it down here into the moving average, into that blue line. We're sitting... We're sitting around, ah, man, that's 14% off of that level right now. So uh, this thing is another one that's going to be one of those really, really volatile names. Um, you know, if you got the gut for the volatility, wonderful. Uh, if you want to set a tight stop loss on this, looks like the green dot came on this candle. So you're going to want to make sure that one holds uh, 375. I put a stop at 375 on MSTR uh, if you want to play that. Uh, we got Chewy. Chewy sold off into earnings. Someone was tell, asking me if they should buy it. I believe they were asking me right here at 34. I told you guys I never like to buy before earnings because when they do this, when they miss their earnings by 82%, okay, not good. Okay, big sell off. I think that was like an 8 or 9% dip. And buyers stepped right back in and bought it up. So this one's actually looking decent here. Uh, all you want to do is wait for the first green candle, but it's sitting right on our moving average right now. It's sitting right on that 30 day. So you're just going to want to make sure that this one holds, I'm going to say $30 on the stop loss. I would wait for a green candle or a green dot to come. But I mean, this is bouncing perfectly right here on the 30 EMA. If you guys want to be aggressive, you could take the trade. I would just make sure to put that stop loss right there at around $30 on Chewy. Okay, and I actually like this one because it is into the 30 day. Solana. Solana, we called this one out on... Uh, I believe it was Thursday over there in the Discord, around 3, 2.30. It's sitting at around 2.42 right now. Again, what did we see? Well, first thing, we saw a monthly chart. We saw the green monthly, and then we were looking at the daily. What we were looking for on the daily, we were looking for that pullback into our moving average, just like it pulled back here, 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 just like it pulled back here. Boom. We got the same exact thing happening, guys. Patterns, 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 patterns. patterns. This happens all the freaking time. I mean, you could, you guys can see this setup happen so many times, it's not even funny. I mean, it's just ridiculous, okay? So we called the green candle out here at around 2.30. Our stop loss on the trade was 2.21, okay? And you got the green dot yesterday. So when it comes into the 30, if I'm feeling really aggressive, I want to take the trade, okay? I want to take the trade when I see a green candle off of the 30-day moving average, whether it has a dot or not. The dot is just the confirmation, Okay, you can enter on the green dots. There's no nothing wrong with that. You'll never go broke waiting for confirmation. But you want to just make sure you set a stop loss on this one. I'm going to call it right there at 230. Move that stop loss up uh, to 230. 
And uh, let's see how this one plays out. Again, not looking to sell to the stochastic. Comes up there and hits the white dotted line. Or we get a red dot, whichever one comes first. This one's going up there uh, on the favorites list as well. You just have to have a stop loss at $2.30 on this one. Again, I really like that one into our moving average. $2.30 for the stop. Uh, GME. This one had a big freaking massive candle. Okay, another name that actually has earnings on Tuesday. So um, if you want to play the earnings, right, I do not recommend it. I just showed you guys what happens when they miss on Chewy. You get a big dip. But if you want to play this one, two, uh, 27 28 is going to be, I'm sorry, 27, call it 27.75 is going to be the stop. Again, you got earnings on Tuesday. So that's always a risk. I don't like it. it looks like they had news. GameStop rose, pre market following its 6% increase. Uh, stock rose. Two earnings sales dropped. So, oh yeah, this is Q3. They're reporting Q3. So 2725 again. I don't like buying stuff into earnings. So that one, that one's kind of a gamble to me. Uh, Zillow, this is the stock of Zillow, a real estate stock. Uh, this one, again, nice trend here on the monthly. Pointing straight up here on the monthly, right? Green, green, green. Okay, we're in here on the daily. What's it doing? One, two, three, four, five day pullback, six day pullback. Beautiful. Where's the stochastic? Down here near zero. Okay, you got the six day pullback into what? Into the nine EMA, the weekly average price. Okay, and I put the stop loss on this one at $80 for a trade, but this one looks really, really good. And I'm going to move that one up to the favorites as well. The green dot will be the confirmation. If we break out over 83, 89, that one's going right up there to 92. But that one looks really strong. I think it's going to be a really good year for real estate, too, in 2025 with Trump being the president and rates coming down. I think real estate companies and, and real estate in general is going to do really good. So $80 is the stop loss on uh, Zillow. I like that one. That's probably my favorite play so far, just with the six bar pullback. And again, we're using that, that 9 EMA as the uh, support there. So Zillow looks really, really good there. Uh, we got ET, Electric Transfer, uh, LP. This one is an energy company. You had the three-day pullback into what? Into the nine, just like you got here. Boom, pulled back into the nine, into the mean. And you got a green candle there on Friday. So uh, if you want to play that green candle there, had some nice volume come in as well. 1880 is going to be the uh, stop there. Again, monthly chart pointing straight up. Got some big volume ever since November coming in there. And uh, that's a reversal candle right there. That doji candle is the reversal. Watch for a green dot coming on Monday. That will be called out in the Discord. But 1880 is going to be your stop loss on ET there. That one looks good too. Here's EA. This is a gaming company. They make uh, 2K and they make Madden. Uh, this one just kind of rising. Honestly, not my favorite. It's got a red dot here. Uh, the stop loss on this one's going to be 164. But this is just one I've been watching. I'd like to see it closer to 160 to take an entry. You can see... Bounced on the 30 there, bounced on the 30 there, did the Ripski. Okay, it's just kind of hanging out here, consolidating. Uh, watch for a break over 168. 68, that would be all-time highs for the stock if that happens. Stop loss is 164. FedEx. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these, but this should be their most profitable time of the year with all the deliveries and stuff they're doing. My brother works for FedEx, and he's just busier than a bee. Okay, it's got a green monthly. It's got a green monthly, right? Moving up on the monthly. Okay, Christmas season's coming. They're delivering packages like crazy. We got a one, two, three, four, five-day pullback. Beautiful stochastics down here on the floor. FedEx is going up here as well. Okay, FedEx is going up here in the favorites as well. So far, these are my favorite setups. And uh, again, stochastic on the floor. We got a five-day pullback. Yes, it's not into the 30, but it's right there around it. So I think on the green dot, I would definitely be taking a trade on F, uh, FDX. This is FedEx. Okay, watch for that come Monday. I want to see how that thing closes or how we open up on Monday. But FedEx is definitely one we want to watch next week. Here's Disney, D-I-S, Walt Disney. Okay, shoot, I was looking at this one here in October when we got that green candle flip there. The green candle flip came there on the monthly right there in October. It is now up close to 30% since that time. You guys probably look at 30% and you're probably just laughing. Stocks don't move as big as crypto in a bull market, I'll tell you that. But they're not as risky. You don't risk as much, okay, if you're wrong. So that's the good thing about trading stocks is, yes, you might only make 20 to 30% on the trade, guys. But, I mean, you're not going to lose 20, 30% if you're wrong. You're going to lose 2%, okay, which is good, okay. And Disney, look what it's doing. It's sitting right here, 
Stochastic's on the floor. It's right there into the 9 EMA. I think Disney could have a big move here, dude. I think they could really, really run. They've been beaten down really, really hard over the last couple of years. I mean, this thing was sitting at $200 back in March of 2021. It hit a low of 84 and the monthly chart looks like it's just now ready to break out. So Disney's on the favorites next week, guys. I think that's going number two right under Zillow. And uh, I'm putting the stop on that one right there at the bottom of that red candle at 115. I mean, you're literally risking less than 1% on this trade, okay, at 115. So watch for a green dot come uh, Monday. If that happens, that thing's going right to 124. I think that's going to set up really nicely. But as long as that nine continues to be the... The uh, moving average, right, as long as that acts as support, then this thing should take off. I really like Disney this week. Uh, we got BX. Got a few more names here. BX is Blackstone. You guys have probably seen their grills. Again, big move up here. Big move up. Nice big uptrend. What did it do? It pulled back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. This one's going on the freaking favorites. And we got a green candle on Friday there. Stop loss on that is going to be 185. You're literally risking two dollars uh, on that trade. My target would be up there at 200, but you can see the stochastic is starting to come up off the floor here. Okay, that green dot on Monday will be the confirmation, but 185 is the stop loss on this one, and we're pretty freaking close to that 30-day moving average right there. Look at this trade setup here. Pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. Boom. Tap the 30. Rip. I think I've showed you guys like. 20 examples so far of these names pulling back into our moving average, into our mean, okay? Pulled back there, pulled back there, pulled back into the nine there, ripped, okay? Looks like they're doing really good on their earnings. Anytime you see a green E down here on the stock, that means they're beating their earnings. They're doing better than expected. They're making money. Their, their investors are happy, okay? When it's red, not so good, okay? That means they're losing money. Okay, but this is a very strong trend. I like this one. If 185 breaks, we'll probably come down here to 180, just like we did right there, and tap the 30 and go. But that one looks really good. Uh, here's Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still hanging out. Looks like it broke 100K as of uh, as we're making this video. Uh, stop loss on this trade is going to be 95, $95. You saw we had that big liquidation dip. What did it? What did what did Bitcoin dip down into, guys? What did it dip down into right here? See that? Dipped right down into the mean, baby. If you guys had your buy order set at 90, you, that was a great trade, 10% trade. Okay, I don't know how high Bitcoin's going to go, guys, but I, I think there's more money to be made in, in some of the altcoins. But the trend is obviously very strong. I'm going to put a stop loss at 94.5 here. If you're holding this one, I'd look to sell it when the stochastic comes back up here and touches that white dotted line on Bitcoin. Uh, that was a beautiful pullback into the 9 there, or the 30. Sometimes it happens really fast, right? That happened in the matter of like an hour. It dipped down to 90 and got sucked right back up. Came back down here, tapped it. Came down here and tapped it, okay? Came down here and tapped it, okay? And tapped it again right here. So uh, that was a big, big liquidation dip there, and they sucked it right back up. So stop loss on that's going to be right there at around $95. Here's Schwab, uh, Charles Schwab. Another stock with a really, really uh, strong looking trend on the monthly. Again, we're pointing straight up. Again, guys, we want to buy assets on the monthly when they're pointing up, not pointing down. Pointing up, pointing up. Wonderful. We're on the daily now. Okay. Stop loss on this trade is going to be right there at 80. But I think this thing's going to bounce really hard on uh, Monday. That one's also going up there in the favorites. $80 is going to be the stop loss on this name. First target's going to be right up there at about 86. That's about a 10%. Uh, move there again stochastics on the floor we got our first green candle after a four-day pullback into our moving average kind of looks similar to this right here had that four-day pullback now it's ripping so eighty dollars is the stop loss on schwab there uh we got plt this is planet fitness that one had the green dot show on friday and uh this one's stop loss is gonna be right there at 98 you're risking a dollar on this trade i'd probably move it down a little bit a dollar's i mean you're a big sissy if you're only risking a dollar Okay, you're still only risking a dollar at the bottom of this candle. Dude, there's some A1 setups right now, dude. I mean, these these setups are just prime time. I mean, this one, Planet Fitness. I used to work out there. I moved away. I don't have a Planet Fitness where I live now. But uh, beautiful, beautiful trend there on the monthly. Uh, they're obviously killing their earnings. I mean, they beat it by 10 11%. Look at that volume coming in. Okay, big four-day pullback here. Big move up, four-day pullback. Where are we bouncing? Where are we bouncing, guys? Where are we bouncing? 
on the mean. That's right, on the average, the nine-day moving average, okay? Beautiful, beautiful setup here. Stop loss on this one's going to be $98, okay? And you got the green dot showing right there. Again, our, our sell target will be when the stochastic RSI comes back up and hits the white dotted line, or we get a red dot, whichever one comes first. Here's Algorand. Okay, Algorand looks exactly, I don't know what's up with these ISO tokens, but XLM, uh, Algo, and XRP, for some reason, they all move the same. And uh, Algorand looks exactly like XRP here. It just has a lot lower uh, market cap, but I really like this trade here setting up. Okay, you got the pullback into what? Into the mean. That's right, into the mean. You guys are learning. Good. Nine, nine day moving average is acting as support. What did we do here? We bounced on it right there at 15 cents. Okay, we bounced on it right here at 24 cents. We came back and we bouncing on it again right here at 44. I called this one out last night in the Discord. And the stop loss is going to be at the bottom of today's green candle at 46, call it 47 cents. If I had some from some free capital right now, I'd probably be buying Algorand. I really like this setup as well. That's going to be the top crypto pick so far for me. Okay, 46, 47 cents is your stop loss. It's sitting around 51 right now. I think I called it out last night at 49. Uh, yeah, well, 50, 49, 50 cents there. That was called out. So if you guys don't remember, you guys get access to all my call outs. Like every single trade that I'm looking at, I uh, I call out over here in the Discord. Okay, and I'll post my profits too. We made a little bit of money on Link. Uh, but yeah, anytime I open a position or close a position or I think there's a setup, like I didn't take Algorand, but I if I had money, free money sitting in my account, I would have taken it. Uh, and I, I really like Algorand here. Uh, that one is on the green list. And that one is up there in the favorites. That's probably my favorite crypto uh, so far. And XLM actually might take the bacon from it, honestly. XLM looks a little better. Uh, looks like it hasn't taken off quite as much. Again, monster, monster couple months for XLM. This thing's up like 600%. And look what it's doing, okay? It's using that 9 as its moving average, that 9 EMA. So this one's had a 1, 2, 3, 4-day pullback, okay? And now you're looking at the first green candle there. So... Uh, if you want to risk less, like if you want to be really conservative, set your stop loss right there at around 47. Uh, if you don't want to set it there, put it right there at like 45. Okay, 45 cents on the stop loss for uh, XLM. But I like that one too. XLM and Algorand are probably my two favorite crypto plays here. And they have to hold their stop loss levels though. Again, 45 cents, you're risking about, that's about a 10% risk. So if you guys are going for the high risk, high reward, Okay, 10% is a lot of money to risk if you put your full account in. You don't have to put the full position in. Uh, I'd recommend breaking it up. Maybe put 25% in XLM, 25% in, in Algorand, 25% in XRP, and then 25% in something like Ada Cardano, which is going to be the next one. This one's also looking really, really strong. What's it doing? It's using that 9 EMA, that mean, as the average. Again, guys, we want to buy as close to the mean as possible. We're using the 9 EMA and the 30 EMA. Again, everything on my charts that I'm talking about, guys, the green dots, the red dots, okay, the, the EMAs, the Bollinger Bands, literally everything can be loaded right into your TradingView account. You just click a couple buttons. You just click this link right here, and you guys get full access to all of the indicators. It is the overkill indicator. It has all the loadout, the exact loadout that you're looking at on the screen can be yours, and you can use this same exact strategy. I've pointed out so many, so many opportunities, so many... Things from the past that just line up, guys. These markets move in waves. There's patterns that happen over and over and over again. And if you're trading, if you're investing, you always want to be buying at a fair price, okay? And you always want to manage your risk. I'll never put a trade on and not have a stop loss, okay? Stop loss on eight is going to be 110, okay? 110 is the bottom of this red candle that we bounced on that green, or I'm sorry, on that uh, orange line on, right? The 9 EMA. We bounced on it here. We bounced on it here. Okay, bounce, bounce. Okay, this thing's ready to go. These these ISO tokens look really good. I'm going to put that one up there with uh, XLM and, and Algo. I think if you want to take a trade this week, put 25% in each one of these cryptos, if you're, if you're buying crypto, and then let them ride, right? Of course, set your stop losses, right? You want to set your stop loss on ADA at 110. You want to set your stop loss on XRP at the bottom of the green candle. We're getting it on about 230. You want to set your stop loss on XLM, at 45 and your stop loss on algo right there at 45 same thing okay so those four are my favorite cryptos this week the iso tokens let's let's trade with the trend guys i mean keep the trend going i also like i still like cro too i mean that's obviously my position 
uh, the only position I'm holding in crypto right now. But uh, again, it's just trending on that orange line. Okay, it's going to explode. It's going to have a move. I mean, it's not going to. Nothing's 100%. But if I'm wrong, I'm only risking like a, a, a penny, right? I'm risking like 2% on something that can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 500%. Right? It's all about risk to reward, guys. So my favorite cryptos are... Uh, CRO is still my favorite. I still think CRO is going to have a move. It hasn't moved as big as XLM, Algo, ADA, or XRP. Okay, These things are already up four or 500%. Okay, HBAR was another one. I talked about this yesterday, guys. I, I uh, made a video on HBAR. But you can see these golden dots. If you guys ever see a golden dot on your indicator on the daily chart, you better buy it. Because they are the most accurate buy signals. I mean, they are the most bullish indication that you can possibly get. I don't know what it is that forms them on the indicator, but they do come and they are very, very rare. Okay, and if you guys want to set up alerts for golden dots on you guys, I mean, this one right here on HBAR, that came at five cents and it hit 40, 40 cents. If you're selling today, that was a 400%, I'm sorry, an 800% move off of that golden dot. Okay, and if you want to set an alert for a golden dot or a green dot or a red dot on your indicator and, and be notified, all the alerts pop up over here in Discord. You can see these ones. Uh, and again, my alerts go over to the Discord as well. You can also get a, It also sends you an email and it gives you a notification on your phone's app if you have the app installed. But if you right click and hit add alert, okay, you can see there is a golden dot, a big golden circle. Okay. And I'm thinking about adding these into the Discord. I'd have to upgrade my TradingView account, which I think I'm probably going to do. Um, and then I could add those golden dots in, but they just rarely ever come. Like they, they are so rare that uh, it's it's very rare that it happens. But when it does, right, it's obviously a great time to buy. I mean, this one on HBAR went 800%. So if you want to set an alert for that, just right click on your indicator and click the golden dot. If you guys want to set the green dot alerts, which is the ones I use, uh, I use the small green dot, okay? And then I I normally do once per bar. Uh, I have the premium version of TradingView, so I set my alert to open-ended, so I never have to set the same alert twice. And then you just hit create, and then you get the email, right? You get the notification, you get all of the, you, you pretty much will know when the dot comes, okay? And then the same thing for the red dots, okay? You could use the, uh, I use the small red dot as well. The reason I use the small ones is because it calls out every single one of them. Okay, the big green dots are the ones with this, with the shaded area down here. Okay, and then if you guys see, I've seen a lot of questions about this, about this green line here. Okay, this just means there's divergence. This means that this was this was a wave where the green dot came, and then this one right here, it came at a higher, a higher place. So it made a higher, think of it as a higher high. Okay, so that's just telling you like, hey, this is this is good divergence here. This is divergence. This is a good trade to take. And you can see, obviously, that came with the golden dot too, which was insane. I wish I would have bought H bar. I wish I would have seen that. So I am going to try to add these golden dots into our alerts, uh, just so we have them, and we will know. Again, if you're if you're in the Discord, you get the monthly and the daily ones. If it's on my watch list, I have about two hundred names that I follow. I have a red list, a blue list, and a green list. If you guys don't know how I formulate my watch list, I'd highly recommend coming over to the trading course here and watching this video called How to Set Up Effective Trade Watch List, A Beginner's Guide. This is a great video for you guys to understand how I formulate these. Okay, If it's on my red list, that just means the last dot on the, uh, on the monthly chart is red. So I'll scan these like once a month and I'll look at their charts. But most of the time, this just means they're red on the monthly, right? I'm not trading anything that is red on the monthly. So they're in the red list. So once a month, I'll go here and I'll scan through this list and I'll see if the dot flipped back to green, right? Like I could look at CLF. Nope, still red here, right? Still red. So the blue list though, on the other hand, and I'll explain this in that video if you guys go watch it. The blue list is the list that has a green dot or a green candle on the monthly, but it's really extended on the on the daily, right? The daily's just too far up. Like H bar right now, in my opinion, not a great time to be buying because we're sitting 15% off of our nine day moving average and we're sitting 53% off of our 30 day moving average. So if it's on my blue list, yes, it's in an uptrend, it's green on the on the monthly, but the daily is just too far up. If, if a name is up 50% off the 30 day moving average, I'm not, I'm not looking at it. So I'll scan through this. I normally do this before our videos, but Ooh, Flare actually looks like a pretty good setup there, too. Uh, I'm going to add that one in here, too. Flare actually looks really good here, too, with a stop loss at $0.03. Cents. Okay, this is another one. Uh, 
this is a uh, layer one, a newer layer one. But this one looks good with a stop loss at three cents here. Okay, stop loss at three cents. Uh, bouncing right there on the nine, just like it bounced there, just like it bounced there. Flare looks good. That one's actually going to get put up in the favorites over there. And I think we got two more here, and I'll scan that uh, blue list here real quick for you guys. Uh, Fubu, yes, the daily's very overextended here. I got a stop loss on this one at 160, but something's telling me that this one's going to break out. Okay, we've had this, we've had uh, five green months in a row, but we've just been consolidating. This one hit a high of like $60 back here in 2021. This is a streaming service, and it's sitting at $1.70 right now. The reason I put this one on the watch list was actually because of the weekly chart. Okay, the weekly chart actually gave us a green dot last week. Uh, it closed green, and that's a big, nice-looking candle right there, too. So if that one can break out over $2, you could see this one run really, really hard. Uh, I'm playing 160 as the stop. Again, this is more of a play on the weekly chart than it is the daily here. And then last but not least, we got Bonk. Someone actually just called this out in the Discord. Uh, again, green, green on the monthly, so we're in here on the daily. And again, where are we bouncing, guys? Where are we bouncing? Yep, on the mean, right there on the mean. Okay, so stop loss on this one's going to be right here at 0 .00004. Bonk's going up there as well. So for crypto, these got these are going to be my favorites, guys. FLR, Bonk, Soul. Uh, for crypto, Dodge is looking good. Uh, XRP, ADA, Algo, uh, XLM, and FLR. FLR looks good, too. I'm going to move that one, actually, up to where those guys are. For stocks, we got Zillow, Disney, uh, Schwab. Uh, UPST, Lyft, Chewy, Planet Fitness, FedEx, and BX. And these are kind of the runner-ups here. So let me scan this blue list real quick and, and see what's going on here. Again, I'm just looking for a pullback into the mean on this. If it's too, you can see uh, Chainlink right now, again, just sitting at too big of a premium for me, right? It's sitting 8% off of that average and 29% off of that average. It's not quite at 50%. But uh, again, that, that 90 MA looks like it's acting as support. It just looks a little too overdone for me. Doesn't mean it can't explode, but again, we're playing the average here. Uh, Carvana. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any setups. Again, Filecoin way off the average. Okay, way off the average here. Uh, SEI. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, all these names are just too far off the average. I already scanned through this this morning. I must have just missed Flare. But again, the further it is off the average, okay, the, the worse. Look at Cisco. Look how many times this thing is set up, okay? Big pump up, right? We broke out over the mean. When we break out over the 30 like that, we can identify that, boom, that's the takeoff phase, baby. We just took off, okay? We're coming out of that smart money phase. Now we want to play the pull back into the mean. Look how many times this thing pulled back into the mean. Pulled back there, pulled back into the nine there, pulled back there, pulled back there. Just a beautiful, beautiful setup. So... I've already scanned through these guys. I've already looked at them. All these are just sitting at too big of a premium for me. Their stochastic RSIs are either up here at the white dotted line or they're just sitting too far off of the 30-day moving average. These are my favorite, uh, my favorites list. Let me go ahead and drop these for you guys over there in the Discord. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy the green list. Actually, I'm going to start with the red list. So again, these are the names that are uh, red on the monthly. Uh, let's go back to, I dropped this in, in the, in the watch list tab. So you guys can come here and actually look at these lists for yourself. Uh, red lists, uh, 11-30 waiting for the green monthly, right? So these are all good names. Like I like the names, like they're good names. Apple's on here, right? Intel's on here, right? Silver, Cleveland Cliffs, NU, uh, UPS, like they're good names. They just have that monthly uh, monthly dot. Maybe math doesn't. That, that's more of an altcoin though, but MU, right? JNJ, &J, everything's red, okay? Baidu is red. GE, that one's still green, but it looks like it's just hanging on by a thread. Fang, still red, okay? So those are the names we just need the confirmation from the monthly on. Then we got the blue list, okay? And again, these are just the names we're waiting for a pullback on the daily for. So something like this, let's just use HBAR as an example. I'd want to wait till the stochastic RSI, the light blue line, pulls back to it at least under 25, right? And into our moving average here, into our our uh, our 90 MA or our 30 MA, just like it did right there. That's what I'm looking for on these names because these names have just ran really, really hot, right? They're just running really, really hot. They're up 20 days in a row. I want them to cool off. As a trader, I don't like buying up 20 days in a row, okay? I want to wait for at least a 
a three-day pullback, like I said, three to four-day pullback on a name. Here's comp again, up how many days in a row? 25 days in a row, okay? It's got a red dot today. I want to wait till that pulls back to either the nine or the 30. So these all have uptrends on the monthly, okay? Look, it's green on the monthly, but we're waiting on the daily. So I scan this list. I try to scan this list every morning just to see, you know, if it's pulling back into one of our averages. If it's not, I keep it on the blue list. If it's getting to a point where, yes, we had a three-day pullback and we're sitting closer to the average, then I will move it over to my green list, which is what we went over today. These are the ones we're actively looking for positions on because they have all experienced the pullback, right? XLM is pulled back from 65 down to 50, and it's sitting on that average. Algorand, it's sitting on an average, or it's bouncing on an average. FLR is bouncing on an average. Dodgecoin is consolidating on an average. If we're sitting really far off of an average, right, on HBAR, Okay, we want to wait for the pullback, and that's what the blue list is. So the blue list, we're just waiting for a pullback on the daily. So let me share that with you guys. And I believe you guys can... I don't know why I did the 30th. This is 12. It's the 7th. Okay, and then the blue list, 12-7. Waiting for... Waiting for pullback on the daily. Boom. Okay, and then finally, the green list are the ones we are actively looking for entries on, either on a green dot or on a candle where we're bouncing, right? Where we're bouncing off of the off of the moving average, right? Algorand right now bouncing off the average. I'd take this position today if I had some cash, liquid. Uh, again, ADA bouncing off the average. Uh, XRP bouncing off the average. FLR bouncing off the average, Dodge bouncing off the average, Stochastic's way down here, right? The Stochastic RSI, if that's underneath 20, 20 to 25, that's a great place, right? What's Lyft doing? Lyft's right into the average. So we're actively looking for entries on the names on the green list, okay? Actively looking for entries. Boom. And again, we're always setting the stop loss, guys. Normally, the stop loss will always come at the bottom of the red candle, right? For Dodge, that'd probably be right here at around 40 cents. Okay, off the dot, off the candle we got the green dot on. That was this candle here, the bottom of that candle. Where's that at? It's right there at 40 cents. So, uh, stop losses are always based on your tolerance and your risk, right? How much you want to risk on the position. See, FLR, I'm setting the stop loss at the bottom of that candle that we bounced off the nine on. That's at about two point, that's at about three cents. You want to make sure that one holds three cents. I like FLR there. This is a newer altcoin. I think it's only like a $2 billion market cap here, but this one could have some juice in it. That one definitely could have a, have a, have a move here. So that's it for today's video, guys. I'll be answering your chart requests next week. I'm going to try to do two videos from now on so they're not as long. I'll be answering these on Monday. So if you guys got requests for Monday, drop them over here inside the Discord and I will be covering these uh, in the next video. We always drop these watch list videos on Saturday to prepare us for the next week. So again, if you got chart requests, drop them over here inside the chart request thread. If you guys are interested in becoming a member, there is all the information you need right here. You just have to click this link and it will upgrade your account. I think we're sitting way higher than 500 now. I think we're sitting six, 700 strong uh, for members. And again, if you guys uh, are interested, I have a free trading course that goes over more of the strategy that I talked about today, understanding moving averages, understanding market cycles, uh, how to set up your watch lists, right? My trading strategy in general. Okay, here's another good video on the trading strategy. So if you want to learn more, again, we're not day traders here. We're swing traders. Uh, we're just trying to capitalize on swings. We're not trying to sit in front of our uh, you know, screen all day and trade a five minute chart like everybody else is trying to teach you uh, how to do on online right now. There's just too many decisions to be made on these shorter term time frames. That's why we focus on the monthly and the daily, trying to capitalize on the swings, okay? Trying to make 10, 20, 30, 40, 100% at a time, okay? 100% is like a home run to me. So uh, I'm shooting for like 20% to me, I get excited about because I can, if I can do that consistently, I never have to worry about money ever again. And this strategy is pretty consistent with finding uh, those type of moves. Again, we're not greedy. The cheat sheet's right over here for you guys. And if you guys want the trading indicator, again, you just have to come click this link. It just takes a couple of clicks and it loads directly into your TradingView account. TradingView is just the website that we use to chart. Uh, I trade cryptocurrency. I trade on Coinbase. And Robinhood is what I use to trade stocks. You guys can start your TradingView account, your Robinhood account, and your Coinbase account by clicking these links right here. 
that will get you started at least. Uh, there's a bunch of different brokers out there, so you don't have to use these, but those are just the ones I use. So that's what I make available over here under the trading apps, uh, trading apps tab. And again, welcome to all the new recruits over here inside the Discord. We are growing every single day. And once again, welcome to all the new Spartans. Once again, guys, if we can get this video to 150 likes uh, by Monday, I will go ahead and do another XRP giveaway. That giveaway from last week is currently live. We're giving away 100 XRP tomorrow. So make sure you come over here and you click that emoji right there to enter to win that 100 XRP. And with that being said, guys, I think that's everything. If you guys need me, feel free to hit me up inside the Discord or shoot me an email. My email is right up here inside the server rules, overkill at overkillinvesting.club. Once again, I will never add you as a friend first, or I will never send you a DM asking for money or cryptocurrency. Please, please, please beware of scammers. The only two products that I have are the membership and also the trading indicator. So please, please, please beware of scammers. There's a lot of people who's trying to interpret, uh, uh, interpret, interpretate me right now and people are getting scammed so please 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 read the server rules i try to put it everywhere inside the discord please 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 beware of scammers and with that being said guys god bless you have a great weekend and we'll see you guys monday for the chart requests peace